Here are five paint colors that you can use throughout your entire home and also warm your heart at the same time. What a silly intro. I'm James from The Paint People, where we discuss all things painting, decorating, color, and design inspiration. We released a video talking about neutral paint colors that you can use throughout your entire home. And the idea behind it was to simplify the entire color selection process. And although a lot of you watched and enjoyed the video, there were some of you that wanted to deviate from the neutral color palette, more specifically, gray. So we're not gonna talk about your traditional gray colors in today's video. We're going to heat things up a little bit with some warmer leaning neutrals. This includes beige, cream, and tan. And the five colors we're going to talk about today are from five different paint companies. And at the end, I'm gonna finish off with the color that I ended up choosing for this space that I'm in right now. Here are five warm neutrals that you can use all over your house, AKA main colors. If you're excited, then let's start this list off with a quick press of the like button so more of you lovely people can join the Paint People Plethora. It's a working title. Let's start with Stucco Tan by Dunn Edwards. Now, what you may notice, especially with that white rim around the color swatch, is that for a main color, it actually has a decent amount of depth to it, unlike some of the more lighter gray neutrals from the previous video. And that's because it does. Stucco Tan has an LRV of 68, and that really puts it on the darker side of light color values. But because of its amped up beige aspect, its warmth is further enhanced by any surrounding light, and that makes it a great candidate to be a main color in those wide open spaces, and also for exterior surfaces as well mainly because it won't run the risk of being too light and therefore too plain looking once it gets washed out by all the sun hitting it. Holy run on sentences, James. So that was Dunn Edwards. Not a company we talk about very often, but they make great paint and offer some awesome color choices as well. The next paint company I wanna take a look at is by Bear Paint. And it's a color that shares the same name as another painting company's color. I'm talking about Swiss Coffee by Bear Paint. And unlike Stucco Tan, which was darker and well, more tan, this color is a definitive off-white with an LRV right around 84. So that puts it in an interesting position of simultaneously being a common light wall color choice for those of you that want to keep your space really open and bright, while also being a fairly suitable trim color choice as well when you don't want to go with a stark white color that just doesn't fit the overall energy or vibe of what you're looking for in your color palette. For all my die-hard Benny Moore fans watching, there is a Swiss coffee made by Benjamin Moore, but dare I say, Bear's version is just that tiny bit creamier, but they're super close. The third color I wanna feature holds a special place in my heart, and it's pretty obvious why. This color is called James White, and it's by Pharaoh and Ball. No, I don't like it because I'm an egomaniac, okay? I'm actually pretty insecure, especially when some of you make me realize my issues with pronunciation. But this is a color name that I know I got right, right? It's also the lightest color that I'm gonna talk about today, but don't mistake it for a plain, sterile paint color. What makes this color so intriguing to me is its creaminess, its warmth, working alongside a subtle touch of green. It's a really unique look that I'm a big fan of. If you know me, I'm on a quest to boost the popularity of greenage colors, where instead of gray and beige, we get a slightly more optimistic green and beige. I would say James White is a bit too light to feel like a true beigey tone, but it's definitely a warm neutral that I'm pretty fond of. Our second last neutral is the darkest color on this list, but arguably the most popular one. It comes with an LRV of 58, which is heading into mid-tone territory, but it's so popular because of its accessibility. Of course, I'm talking about Sherwin-Williams Accessible Beige. This is a color that feels right at home when you pair it with taupes and tans and grays, and yes, other beiges as well. It also does a fantastic job at complementing natural wood of nearly any shade. Versatility is definitely its strong suit. I would mention that because it does have that darker LRV, don't expect it to really open up or brightness space the same way that some of those other colors we talked about would do, but that's not what you always want necessarily. This is a main color that will give you a solid amount of visual depth, but we have to talk about the fifth and final color, which happens to be the same exact color that I painted in this room that I'm in right now. For a color so passive, it really jumped off the color chart when I first saw it. 
It's by Benjamin Moore, and it's part of their Color Stories palette, which all have the unique characteristics of containing six different colorants, which creates beautiful, complex, chameleon-like colors. It's Plaster of Paris, and it's the most exciting beige that I know, at the moment at least. Because it has so many undertones all mixed together, it does a great job at working with my more red-leaning taupe kitchen area and the greens on my mantle and in the surrounding plant life. It's also subtle enough to work alongside the grays in my couches and on my dining room chairs. It's a contemporary take on a classic neutral that just ties it all together. If you want to see a color code episode all about Plaster of Paris, we have it right over here for you. And if you want to revisit the Benjamin Moore neutral gray main colors, that's right over here. Choose wisely.